Welcome to your love reading for June 2021. Let's get started. So as you can see, the cards have already come out for you during the shuffle. So we're going to get straight into it. The first card that we've got from the Angel Animal deck is the owl. They're telling me this is your energy. It could be the other way around, could be the person you're dealing with, but they're saying for most of you, can you see that? Yes, okay. So owl, listen to the messages of the angels. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that uh, somebody, as I said, most likely is you, but could be the person you're dealing with. Somebody has been seeking help. Somebody's been reaching out. Somebody's been turning towards spirit. Uh, they're telling me trying to find solutions, resolutions, advice. Um, they're telling me somebody feels confused about a relationship. Some, they're actually using the phrase, uh, someone's in a pickle. So meaning that somebody... Um, feels that they're in a bit of a tight spot, uh, they, they're undecided about something, they don't quite know how to solve um, a situation of some sort. And uh, they're wanting to say here that uh, Spirit knows that you have been reaching out um, and they're, they're talking about uh, going to a place or allowing yourself to be in a space where you can be quiet and receive guidance. They're showing me somebody who's spending time near water, uh, walks along the beach or um, just somewhere where there's water uh, or a park even. So being in a place in nature uh, where you can be there for a while undisturbed will allow you to get into the vibrational space where you can pick up on the uh, messages that the angels and spirit in general uh, are offering you because they know that you're reaching out and they're just saying that uh, this reading and these messages are for those of you who have been doing that a lot lately or been thinking about doing that and wanting to find ways um, to connect. They're actually telling me to look at the other cards here from the uh, Radiant Rider Waite. So I feel that this uh, these cards here represent one energy of a person and the others here. So let's, I'm just going to go how Spirit is indicating me to do that. Okay, so the first card we've got is Four of Swords in Reverse. The next card we've got is Eight of Cups in Reverse. The third card we've got is the Seven of Pentacles along with the King of Pentacles in Reverse. So what I'm feeling from this energy here is that it seems like somebody's unsure about what to do. Somebody's unsure about whether to take a break, whether to take a breather, or whether to walk away entirely, or whether to keep investing in something. So as this is a love reading, I'm going to say investing in a relationship. Um, somebody still has hope or has a sense that there could be potential for this relationship to grow, but with the King of Pentacles in reverse here, um, yeah, they're, they're actually kind of showing me um, paths that have a lot of obstacles in front of them. So they're actually showing me as a visual in my mind's eye, sort of like a forest and all of these trees that are in front of the pathway, making it very difficult to walk forward. Um, but somebody still has some sort of hope here with the Seven of Pentacles because somebody feels that they've already been nurturing, investing, They've been giving a lot of time to this, they've been patient with it, and they don't necessarily want to just quit, and hence the, the reason to uh, turn towards spirit for advice about this, because there's a bit of a push-pull with this energy here, so somebody's definitely confused about whether to yeah, end a relationship or take a break from a relationship, sort of like, what is the status going to be? Let's look at the other energy here for the other individual. We've got the bat, and it says, see through illusion, into truth okay so i have to be honest with you what i'm picking up some it feels like somebody's in denial that's what i heard the word denial somebody's in denial about something so i'm picking up that this is maybe a couple uh, or or of course just people who are dating but i do feel for most of you it would be like a more of a long-term relationship or just two people that know each other very well because there's a sense here with the back card that somebody doesn't want to see something somebody doesn't want to admit the truth about maybe the relationship not being what it once was it, it's almost like 
somebody's willing to face something they're all okay because they're also bringing up therapy so maybe somebody has suggested it or it has been attempted at one point somebody is acknowledging the fact that uh, the relationship isn't what it once was and somebody seems to for whatever reason not not want to look at that they're bringing up children okay so maybe you are a, a family with children um, let's keep going you've got the six of pentacles Eight of Wands in reverse. Ace of Wands. Interesting. The energy, really interesting. Um, as I was uh, holding the Six of Pentacles, uh, what I heard was somebody, somebody is still investing. Somebody still, and a similar energy with the Seven of Pentacles, which is quite, yeah, it's similar. So I feel that both of you are, there's, it's like you've got reasons to not want to give up on this. And it, again, it can be that you've made a commitment to each other. Maybe you've been together a long time. Maybe there's children involved. It's like you've got some sort of investments with each other that make it so that you you, you feel like it's not so easy to walk away um, and it's something worth fighting for. Because I feel, yeah, with the Six of Pentacles, this person is still um, giving, still wants to work things out. So... That's something definitely in common with both parties here. You both feel that you want to work things out, but there's no denying here what I see with the cards and the energy I'm picking up that um, there, there, there may be something that is irreparable or, or something that um, irreparable or something that can't be repaired, you know what I mean? Or something that is very, would be very difficult to repair and, and is something that would take time to do so. They're saying something's been broken, so maybe trust has been broken. They're saying maybe uh, drifted apart. They're also showing me somebody who's been traveling a lot for work, so maybe one of you has been abroad or just away uh, for a long time. They're also saying somebody who's been emotionally absent and focused on other things, and that has caused a bit of a distance in the relationship as well. With the Eight of Wands in reverse here, um, okay, they're, they're, they're saying there's a sense of slowing down. Somebody is afraid to okay they're saying that somebody is afraid to move forward for fear of the changes that it may bring somebody's hesitant to move forward and so they stay uh okay they stay in a place they stay in this six of pentacles energy where they are wanting to just give and receive and kind of have try to create some sort of even balance but i'm also getting the sense as i tune more into this energy that it's just a way of trying to hold things off maybe from the inevitable because now they're showing me the tower so and, and with the ace of wands here i mean this is a new beginning but i mean to be honest as i hold this card i, I feel that it, it's the possibility possibility of entertaining a new beginning with the relationship changing in some way meaning maybe you wouldn't be together anymore or maybe uh it okay because they're also saying uh having space now to focus on yourself Both of you want to work on this relationship, but somebody is much more willing to look at the issues than the other, and somebody is looking towards spirit. Some and somebody is afraid of. Okay, they're also saying someone's been offered a new beginning. I don't know what that could mean. That could, I mean, of course, it could be another relationship, but not necessarily. Um, it can be a work opportunity somewhere else. But they're saying uh, a new. Um, it's almost like there's an opportunity there for someone, or could could be for both of you, but I feel more so for some someone uh, that is making someone nervous because it will because of all the changes that it will create. Let's get some cards for the both of you. The Virgo Collective, please. Okay. Queen of Swords. Seven of Wands in reverse. Okay, this is advice that Spirit is giving here. Um, they're talking about it being very important to use your logical mind uh, in this reading, uh, in this reading, in this relationship, to use your logical mind to not let yourself get too bogged down by your emotions. Look at every oh, why is this kind of look at everything clearly. Um, they're also saying do not be too defensive. Uh, it's very important to. Uh, you want to have boundaries, but at the same time, if you're wanting to work something out with someone, you sort of have to be
be willing to come forward and, and share and be open maybe in ways that you hadn't in the past so they're indicating that if both of you decide to work things out it's going to require a shift in attitude um, looking at all the looking at it from a more of a logical practical perspective uh, objectively speaking as well they're also highlighting therapy because they're bringing up objectivity and getting a third party to help you in the to help you with the relationship by talking things out might be helpful but those barriers have to come down in order to have clear and open honest communication okay Virgo that's what I got for you I hope it helps please like share comment and subscribe if you resonate with my work and all additional information will be down below in the description box thank you so much take care and I'll speak to you soon Bye-bye.